I go here or do I need yep. to do it a different way? Yeah, we're right here. We're good. So let's hit the drop down in the top. Yeah, at the top right there and then hit that drop down, go to the other account. Okay, perfect. Okay, good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to um, let's let's check something real, real quick before we go here. Let's just make sure that the custom conversion is active. So okay. in, um, hit the, the dots to the left and then click on um, click on events. Man Actually, click on um, click on events manager and then just hover over the blue triangle to the left and then click on custom conversions. So you'll see a blue triangle Here. and then custom conversions. Yeah. And then you should have that bookmarked as well, which I'm sure you do, but it's bookmarked custom conversions. Okay, cool. So it's active. Okay, good. So let's um, click, click out of there to the left, click away. Yeah. Click. Yeah. Hover over the FSBO leads and just make sure I actually click on it, click on it and just make sure that this is the right link. So hit yeah. X out of that. Okay. So, Next step, Realtor FS, FSBO, thank you. Okay, so you always want to double check that, make sure that that's the right thank you page, which which it is, right? It is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, cool. So we're good. So you're active <laughs> right here. So this yeah. is our custom conversion. Okay, so so um, let's let's also check one, one more thing. Um, mm -hmm. To the left, click on the dots and then go to events manager. And then let's um, scroll down towards the middle and you'll see um, ag aggregated event measurement. Um, so if you just scroll down in the middle, just a little bit. Why is that up there? Um, go ahead and click on diagnostics in the middle. Right here. And then um, click on, um, scroll down, click on the three dots to uh, the right. Under which one? Under Right there, those three dots. This? Yeah, and then just click ignore. Okay, and then let's hit settings real quick. Settings. And then scroll all the way down and go to um, traffic permissions, which I'm pretty sure we already checked this part. Click on click on create allow list. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we already, we already checked this. So we're good. Yeah, we're good here. We're good. Okay, cool. So exit of here and then click on scroll up, go to overview, click on overview and then um, scroll down and you'll see aggregated right there. Aggregated event measurement. Click on that. Uh, oh, right here. Yeah. And then the blue button. Okay, so let's just double check this part. Click on um, click on the next step realtor one, the domain verified. Yeah, mm -hmm. click on that one. Okay, perfect. So there's our custom conversion. Okay, we're good. So click on the dots to the left and let's just go to ads manager. Okay, so I just wanted to double check all that. No, I appreciate it. Because sure like I said, we start and stop and I, I don't, you know, I don't understand enough about it to be able to tell you, hey, you know, D, we probably should do this before we run the ad make sure this is, you yeah. know, already changed or the settings are proper i have no idea <laughs> well actually the, you you won't have to worry about any of that ever again um what i just checked we're you're okay. you're good you're good from this point on so okay so we're at, right here so here's 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 one um one thing to always always keep in mind that ad is off right it says completed it's off but what I do is I, I always want to make sure that the, the dot is gray. So that blue dot, shade it to gray. Always always just get in the habit of turning them to gray. And then click on the middle tab, add sets for one campaign to the right. The tab. Go to the right. Uh, click on the middle tab, add well, sets for one campaign. Way. Can I close this? Yeah. So uh, that tab, right here? Yeah, these are your tabs. Yep, three tabs. You got three tabs. So shade that to gray. Shade okay. all three of them to gray. Click on the third tab to the right and shade that yes. to gray, the tab, ads for one ad set. So the third tab to the right, to the right, right? Oh, th is it yeah. this one? Yeah, that's, these are your tabs. Sorry. These are your three tabs. But it looks like everything is a tab or open or something. <laughs> no, just, this is so just confusing. campaigns, ad sets, ads. These are the three steps of an ad. That's, there's, yeah. that's all there is to it. There's nothing yeah, else I think to I it. remember you saying that now, but. So, um, and I need to do this every time I turn an ad off. No, you don't, you don't have to, the ad was already off, but as you start to run a bunch of ads, the, the, the ones that are blue are on, um, now because you set a calendar end date on that one, right. Mm -hmm. you, when you set up that ad, when we set up that ad, we set an end date, we set up the calendar to end yeah, on did. this date. Facebook will turn it off on that date, but they just don't shade them to blue. 
or they don't show, shade them to gray. I'm sorry. They don't shade them to gray. Okay. And, and it's just me. It's just preference. I just like to look at this shit because when you have a lot, a lot of ads going, you want to be able to look at it real quick and okay, blue. Okay. Gray. Okay. Blue. Okay. Gray. You like yeah. automatically know what's on and what's off. That makes sense. But if, but if you had a bunch of these blue in here, but they're actually off, like, it's just going to throw you off. Yeah, you're going to think, agree. you're going to think for a second they're on. And then until you look into it more and be like, okay, shit, that one's off. Yeah. But, yeah, but it's that's blue. You know, it's, it's, it's blue. It, it looks like it's on, you know what I mean? So just get in the habit of, of shading them to gray, all three, all three tabs, that one ad shaded to gray. Okay. So now hit the one selected, the blues X out all those, the one selected, one selected, one selected. So go back. Yep. Go to every tab, close it out. Yep. Perfect. Okay, cool. So now click on um, the first tab campaigns. So now we're going to just simply create a whole new and you can X out of this top part right here, the prepare for your ad account for advertising. Yeah, we already did all the updates for I Apple iOS. So we're good. So now just click on create. And let's go into the into the setup. So this is everything from beginning to end. So all we're going to do is 99% of the time you're going to be going with conversions. Okay. Because there's two types of ads that you're going to be running. You're going to be running conversions and you're going to be running traffic. Conversions is when you're, is when you're, is when you're testing new ads. Like when you're running ads for the first time, which is this one, this one, this one is going to go to a market that you haven't ran an ad to. You ran the intro step, you ran the intro one, but it's going to be a completely new ad because we're not retargeting the intro just yet. We're, we'll retarget them later, but we're going to go set up this new ad and it's, it is literally targeting a, a new audience that has never engaged with you have never, they, they, they most likely never been to your business page there. It's a cold audience. So 99% of the time you're going to be running those types of ads where you're, where you're running, you're running new videos to, to the audience, even though you target that same location, even though it's the same demographics, it's, it's a few zip codes, even though it's the same area that you're setting up every time, it's still a new audience. It's, it's, it's only an older audience or a warm audience when you're retargeting previous engagers. So, so without confusing you any more than I probably have conversions is what you're doing 99% of the time. 1% of the time is your traffic. Your traffic is when you're retargeting the intro video is when you're retargeting those who landed on the website, but haven't opted in. So, so, so as we start this conversions ad right now, we're going to get people who watch this new video. We're going to get people who click and land on the, on the, on the opt-in page, but don't opt in. Those are two audiences right there. So what, what we're about to do with this new ad is we're about to create two new audiences, those who watch it and those who landed on the opt-in but didn't opt-in. So those are about to be two new audiences that we start to create right now as we set up this ad. So 1% so one, 1 of the time, let's call it in week three, week four, maybe week seven, is when you're running a traffic ad and you're retargeting. That's, that's a whole separate ad is when you're running traffic. And now on this traffic campaign, we're simply retargeting everyone in the last six weeks. That's everyone who's watched every video. That's everyone who landed on the landing page, but haven't opted in. So we set up one ad traffic to retarget all of those people. And then, and then on the other hand, we still have our conversions ad running, a different conversions ad to that, to that, it's all about creating your own audience. It's all about creating your own custom audience. But to do that, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta run a conversions and target a cold market first. So, so for example, if I'm targeting, if I'm targeting a, an audience of a hundred thousand people, let's just call it a hundred thousand people in your local area that we're about to target. It's probably more, but let's just call it a hundred thousand. You're targeting a hundred thousand people, but only four thousand of them watched your video. That, that was the whole purpose of running that conversions, really. It's to, it's, to, it's to get some leads, but to also find my audience. Does that mm -hmm. kind of make sense? Mm -hmm. so, so the 4,000 people, that becomes your audience. Not all 100,000. You targeted all 100,000, but 4,000 watched the video. Maybe 1,000 of them landed on the webpage but didn't opt in. That's your audience. So, so that's an audience that you'll be able to leverage in the future with traffic retargeting them 
to get them back to get them to fill out the form. So it's really, it's, it's traffic and conversions. And don't worry about trying to be a pro at this right now. Like just follow my lead and I'm going to keep helping you with this, but um, you'll, you'll start making, you know, this will start making more sense as, as you learn more, as we continue to go on. So mm-hmm. cold our audience first ad, we'll just go conversions. And then, and then, and then right after we set it up, then we'll go create the custom audience for, um, for that video, because every video needs needs to be set up as a custom audience as well so scroll down we're going to simply um hit the drop down optional and then scroll down and then let's just go to name everything right here these are the three tabs so this is the t- simply the titles of each tab just like you have you know in the background intro next step video views right so this mm-hmm. one is going to be whatever you want to name that that video. Give it, start giving your videos names, not just a name here, but just a name for yourself to know, like to be able to refer each video to, like, or, or reference every video. Like, what what's the name of that video? Um, I mean, could, because if you put if you put sellers market, yeah, yeah, perfect, perfect. Sellers market versus buyers market. Okay, perfect. And then in parentheses in parentheses, put, um, put, put um, conversions, or just maybe C-O-N, whatever. Um, that way, when you look at it on the dashboard, you know exactly what ad that was, just by simple, just by simply titling it. So seller's market versus buyer's market conversions, perfect. And then the ad set is going to be the location that you're targeting. So let's just, let's just name it by the location. So what city or what area? I think we just did Oklahoma City. Okay, perfect. And then on the third one, you could just put um, put the same as the top. Sellers versus market. Sellers, sellers market versus buyers market video. You could just do that for the third one. Video. It doesn't have to be conver- conversions. So um, you could put video maybe in parentheses. Perfect. That way you know it's, it, it was that it was a video. Perfect. So that's kind of how you want to name your your three steps so hit continue okay good now we're in the um in we're still on step one but over here we're going to now go special ad category and for your credit one this is what you'll always have to do as well you'll always have to hit that drop down yeah no i think will flag me one day <laughs> yeah okay perfect so housing for this one and then just scroll down and then you'll just always make sure that the cbo is off scroll down this campaign budget optimization, always make sure it's off. Just keep going down. Okay, it's off. So hit next and we're good. So that's step one. That's step one. That's it. That's that's step one. That's it. Choosing the objective, we chose conversions. We named all each each step. So now as we go, each step is already named. Um, and then and then we hit the drop down for housing. That was it. That's it. That's step one. Step two over here, all we're gonna do now is scroll down. We're gonna we're gonna make sure that our correct pi- up. We're gonna make sure that our correct pixel is there. That's the pixel we're rocking with. We're gonna make sure that the conversion event is the right conversion event. That's the page we're trying to get people to. FSBO leads. That's our conversion event. Here. So so you always want to make sure that your custom conversion is right there. Okay, that's super important. Watch X out. X that out to the right. Hit the X. Hit this. Yeah. Hit that X. Um. If you, if you click in there, go ahead and, and click in there and just scroll down, you see all these other ones um, actually- I'm clicking in there, but it's, it's not- it's, it's right there, it's the active events, scroll down. It's, it's that cursor down. Oh, oh yeah, okay. One. So in here, you have all these different events. A lot of them are by default that Facebook has, but what we do is we just simply create our own. We create our, our custom event. We customize our event so we can name it whatever we want. So you'll always name yours. You'll always have custom conversions. Um, and that's based on the thank you page, right? So you'll always see it right here. So whatever you name it, you'll see it in the drop down and just click on that one. So that okay. first one, that's our custom conversion. So, so you right want me to go back to this? Yep. Click on that and you're good. Okay, cool. So now we scroll down. We don't need any dynamic creative right now. Offer no. So right here is the budget. So this is where you want to go. Um, you can go daily budget. You can go lifetime budget. It's it's kind of it's the same dollar amount. It's just how Facebook spends it. You know, do you want to give them you know a week to spend? Let's say you're spending ten bucks a day. 
do you and, and that's 70 bucks a week like do you want them to spend it daily 10 bucks a day or do you want to just go lifetime so if you hit the daily budget hit the drop down you can go lifetime and just put 70 in the lifetime and then set the calendar right so now you're just giving them a full seven days to spend that 70 however they want to spend it mm-hmm. right so that's what i tend to do a lot i'll do lifetime and just give them the flexibility to spend that money accordingly like however like some days they'll spend the whole 10 bucks some days they may spend 13 bucks a day you know but um they have seven days to spend it or whatever you know your budget or whatever the timeline timeline may be so there's really no um difference between which option is more preference i'm going to stay with daily because it's simplistic for me because i know what i want my daily budget to be and so it's, it's just easier for me to Perfect. So go ahead and put it in there and then just go ahead and put in daily budget. You want to go at least minimum, at least minimum 10 bucks a day, like minimum. Okay. It said at 20. You could change it. You could change it. I mean, it's up to you. You can go 20, you can go 10, but I would, I would recommend 10 just, just to start with. Why? Okay. Well, shit. Let's go. Well, I'm just asking because I, I listened to your call yesterday and you were saying something about my marketing should be 30% of my net income. And yes. so per deal, I per am commission, just trying per deal. to, I want to be consistent in such a way to where now my lifestyle works around what I know my marketing yes. Yes. requires to run my business. I don't want to keep changing 10 to 20 to 30, because then I have to keep going back and resetting my, my, okay, leave it my expenses, then. if that makes sense. So for now, yes. I know that basically $500 a month or somewhere close around that is, yes. is gone for, for marketing. Perfect. Perfect. And then Perfect. I know when I have a little more surplus and I'm making a little more money, now I can bump that up to maybe 30, 40. I don't want to go anyway, but no, you're good. No, you're good right here. Okay. So what, what you'll always want to get in the habit of is setting the, the start date for the next day. So go April 9th and go 6 AM. Actually that's Pacific time. So go, um, go, 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 um, go, go, go for go go 3 a.m 3 a.m because that's um your your eastern time right i'm central oh you're central okay go 4 a.m because i wanted to start at 6 a.m your time okay perfect so that's pacific 4 a.m pacific um okay cool so now scroll down and then all you need now so look the custom audiences that's where you would be so if we were running a traffic ad right? We're running it. Let's say this is traffic. I would click in there and custom audiences go to click in that box and I would see my custom audiences. Mm -hmm. So click on custom audiences right there. Oh, right here. So there are all my custom audiences, audiences that I started setting up. So I got the leads. I got the visitors only. I got the intro. So if this was a traffic ad, we would be retargeting the page visitors and the intro. And then, and then also we would exclude, exclude the leads. So from ad number two and on, or the moment you get a lead from, from the next ad and on, you'll always want to exclude the leads. And so click out of here, click out. So oh, if you, yeah. if you, um, if you see below, what do I click to make click, that go Click to away. the left, just click out of it. You need to get, get rid of this drop down. So right there, exclude, you see exclude. So if you click exclude, you'll be excluding leads. So click exclude right there. So this is where you would click in the box and you would exclude an audience. So again, if this was ad number two and on or ad number three and on, the moment you capture leads, then that audience is what you'll then start excluding. Okay. Make sense? Yes. Okay. So it's very simple. I'm either going to include an audience and retarget them, or I'm going to exclude an audience and, and, um, and, and not, not retarget them. So that's where you'd, you'd put your custom audiences. So scroll down. So let's get out of here. So there's no one, we're not going to include or exclude anyone right now. So locations, let's just click on that, click on the edit and let's just change out that location. So you'll go ahead and just put in, um, X out of that United States and put in, put in your city. Do I type it? Um, yeah, just go in. Okay. You'll always, yeah, always hit the drop down and go with people living in this location. 
they have people living in this location. Okay. No, you 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 didn't. No, no you didn't, I didn't do it. No, hit the drop down. Go people living in this location. Oh, sorry. Okay, cool. And then just yeah, type it in there, and then always always hit the drop down. So as you're typing it, wait until you see the drop down. Always go with the drop down. So Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, there it is right there. Perfect, that one. So click on that one. And then this is where you can go 15 miles minimum up. So it's up to you on, on the radius that you really want to, you know, start to penetrate. Like that's the area, whatever it is, whether it's 15 miles, 20 miles, whatever, you'll want to stick with that and just keep keep pushing to that area. Can I, can I hone in a little bit closer to see what those boundaries are? Um. You, well, you can't, see. but well, actually, no, you can hit the- I think you, I can yeah. go a little bit further. Let's see. Um, let's go 20. Because I didn't pick up Norman. I'm willing to go to Norman. Okay, and you can you can drop a pin there. too. So you can drop a pin. And then drag. I'm you cool. can just drop a pin over Norman. Watch, hit, hit drop pin right there in the bottom right. Drop pin. Mm-hmm. And then just, just drop it wherever you want. But I'm, I'm good right here. Okay, cool. That's fine. Perfect. Okay, yeah, cool. cool. Okay, cool. Let's scroll down. And then all we're going to do is, um, yeah, get Sorry. out of that part. Okay, cool. So we're good. So you can't change age. You cannot change gender with housing. Scroll down. Um, detail targeting. Because you're targeting one city, mm -hmm. we want to just blanket the whole city. Like, let's just take over and dominate the entire city. I want your face being seen everywhere in that city. Um, the detail targeting would is, is where you put in keywords, but I only recommend doing that when you're when you're marketing something nationwide or even you know international. If you're running ads to other countries, or or just running ads across our country, and and you market a specific product, then that's where interest. Like I got my buddy John that just jumped on right now that I'm gonna work with after our call. He's in the golfing industry, right? He has a coaching program. These guys are badass freaking golfers and trainers and physical therapists. And they know everything about the body and how to freaking, you know, all the mechanics when it comes to golf. But he has a product, a digital product that they're marketing in multiple countries. Mm -hmm. and, 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 it's, and it's golf. So it's like detail targeting for him. He would for sure want to put in different keywords um, because he's marketing everyone everywhere, right? Keywords narrowed in. But you, you're marketing to just one city. So I don't recommend any keywords. Like leave it open, leave it wide open. No, no keywords needed. We're going to just target one city and just dominate that entire city. Okay. Um, so leave that, leave that, no detail targeting needed, um, no keywords, leave it off, scroll down. If anything, you can narrow it in by language. So if anything, hit the language, edit that and, and, and go English and just go English all. So type in English and you'll just see all and hit that drop down. Yeah, just go English all. So you can narrow it in that way for sure. Um, but that's it. Like I would leave everything else the same. So, so based on, um, so scroll down automatic placements, you can go ahead and leave it on automatic placement. Um, scroll down a little further and you're good. So now hit, so, so look, the potential reach is 930,000 people. Now mm -hmm. you're not going to reach all of them, but that's just what's estimated, you know, based on, based on the demographics, based on the location, based on that budget. So, um, so hit next and don't worry about the conversions or the reach like yeah that that don't even look at those numbers just hit next because okay. this is a new ad first ad so it doesn't know about your conversions just yet um so that's the correct facebook page we're good there and then now just scroll down and all we're going to do is simply click on create ad little buff so go ahead and click on create ad that drop down and then go to use existing post Okay, perfect. And then, and then hit select post right there below, select post. And all you're going to do is just find that post. So the reason why you want to always double check the post, just like we spent some time in the beginning, editing the text, editing the title, go ahead and click on it it's right there. Click on it, hit continue. So the reason why we did that, and that's the reason why that's so important is because by the time we get here, we can't change anything no more. So the text, the title, everything, it is what it is now. We can't change anything. So we always have to make sure we do it first. So now if you scroll down to the right, scroll down, look at that ad. So um, right when we publish it, you'll see, actually right when we add the link. So scroll down, scroll down. 
So now what we'll do is hit the action, the call to action, the add button. Yeah, once we add that button, then we'll see the title. So go ahead and click on that and then grab your link to your landing page and put it right there. Where'd it so go? The free FSBO. So copy that and then just um, paste it in there. And in the call to action, you got different, you know, call to actions, but learn more is, is the most clicked on. That was a Facebook study that they've done where to learn more, they found out that that's the most clicked on button out of all the other options that you can choose from. Cause hit the drop down. There's so many different call to action buttons, but learn more is, is, is the yeah, best you one. Seem like, it, like maybe get off for, or. Yeah. You would think like download, download. More would be good, like download, but it's actually learn more, learn more. Okay. It's, it creates more curiosity and gets people to click. Um, it's, it's a very non-aggressive call to action. Mm -hmm. Just learn that more. Sense. Now that so, makes sense. So hit that. update post and then you'll see the learn more button and then you'll see your title as well. Um, and hopefully, yeah, see, so, so this is something good to know. It was a little too long, but that's fine, but that's fine. But that's what happens when it's a little too long. And that's my fault. Cause I'm the one that told you to write that, but I, 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 I had a feeling it was a little too long. Click learn more to download your free sellers. And then, you know, and then you got the dot, 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 but that's fine. It, it, that's fine. And then you see how it's just more of a call to action than, than what it was before. Mm -hmm. So that's fine. It cut off and that's fine. Um, and then the top part, the see more, that's fine too. I guess, I guess we only have, we only have three lines. We only have three lines to work with. And <laughs> so little things like that, just knowing you know, for the future is, is, is what, is what you want to kind of pay attention to. So okay. we're good. So scroll down. That's that. Um, so that's all, that's the pixel. That's the offline event. Okay, cool. So hit publish. And then once you publish it, what I do right away is I'll look at what it, I'll just take a quick glance of what it looks like in the newsfeed. So if you scroll up, once this publishes three of three, once you see the green, mm -hmm. You're good. So now um, go back to, you see the title, seller's market versus, yeah, hit edit. And then and then this will open up this page and then to the very, very right where you see view more variations, click to the right of that, to the right of that, the drop down. Yeah, click on that. And then go down to um, Facebook desktop newsfeed. View on Facebook desktop newsfeed right there. Click on that, and this just gives you a quick glance of what it looks like in the newsfeed, which is, you know, cool to, cool to see. So as it goes live mm -hmm. tomorrow, scroll down. This is what it's going to look like in the newsfeed. So people are going to come across that, and, and boom. So, yeah, in look, in the newsfeed, it shows, yeah, perfect. So oh, it oh, did show awesome. it. Awesome. So it shows everything. Perfect. Perfect. I guess on the short preview, it was a, yeah, it was a condensed that, yeah, version. Yeah, we just see it there. Perfect. So that's, that's, why, that's why it's good to look at it this way, you know, just to – get the full view of it all. So click learn more to download your free seller's guide. Perfect. Perfect. I love it. So, um, so now go back to the ads manager, one last thing real quick. And then, and then get that's to it. Test this learn more to see where it goes. Yeah, go ahead. Click it. I'm just curious. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Awesome. So, so X out of this, go back to the ads manager. One last thing we need to do real quick. Okay. Um, and then, and then we're good is <laughs> X out of this part right here. X, look, I'm not X out of what left. this. Yeah. And then click on the dots to the left and go to audiences. So one habit you want to you want to get in you want to get into is um right when you set up an ad, especially a video, right away after we publish it, now it's in review, now you know, scheduled to go live tomorrow. But um the very, very next thing you want to do right away is go and create that custom audience. So okay. it's either you can do it before or you can do it right after. It's it's whatever. I mean, you can do it anytime, like, but especially right after, like we just set it, set it to go live right away. Let's go and set up the custom audience. So hit the drop down in the top, right? Get minimize this top part right here. You know that, that the one below it. Yeah. Hit that. The, yeah. The one below. Yeah, yes. right there. Yep. So now we have these custom audiences below, right? So now we want to create one. The only video, only custom audience of a video we have is the intro. So we got to create one of this one. So click uh, create audience to the left and then custom audience. And then let's go video and then just simply um, next. And then let's hit the drop down over here and go 25%. So the engagement will go down to 
Yeah, we'll create an audience around around 25 percenters. So now hit choose videos in the top right and then just find that video. And you always want to make sure you're in the right page. So yeah, hit that drop down, go to your page. Okay, cool. So it's that first one. Okay, perfect. So confirm. Okay, good. And then just give it a, give it a name, audience name. So sellers versus buyers video or whatever. And then always put in parentheses 25%. So, so two audiences, again, you're getting this custom audience of those who watch this video for 25%. And then you're, you're constantly building that custom audience of website visitors only. Okay. So create audience and that's it. So you just set up a conversions ad. You just set up the custom audience for that video on that ad. And what you'll want to do is, is always let it run for three complete days. Hit done. So let this ad run. For, for three complete days, hit the dots in the top left and just go back to the ads manager. So so all of um, um, all of Friday, all of Saturday, all of Sunday, let's chat Monday. Let's chat Monday to look at it. And um, all we're looking at is to see if, 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 any, if any leads have came in, obviously, right? If any leads came in and, and look at the cost of that. <laughs> um, if no leads came in, then we'll wanna maybe either leave it on for a little longer or shut it off. Depends on, on on the numbers, but you're at a good daily budget. It's it's a we're targeting a, a local area. It's a, it's a great video. It's a great offer. You have a seller guide. I mean, shit. We should start seeing some some action. But again, I want you to look at it long term, right? Don't don't get super. Ex- I I don't ever emotionally react on these ads. Like I, yeah. That's one thing mm-hmm. you want to take out. Like it could be exciting, but at the same time, like stay emotionally balanced. Like, don't get too excited. Don't get too freaking down. Let's just stay level with it and look at it long term where we have to stay consistent. That's what this is all about is staying consistent with these ads. That's where that's what everybody lacks. Everybody lacks mm-hmm. consistency. They, they think that one ad is going to pop off for them when <laughs> it's not it's not like that. What we're doing is is creating audiences. It's all about retargeting our audiences. Right. Creating mm-hmm. that omnipresence. That's what it's all about is creating that omnipresence. So, so when you can stay consistent running these ads and you can retarget those who are engaging in previous ads, that's where you create the omnipresence and people start to recognize you. And that's mm-hmm. what we're looking for. So it's not just the lead that we're, that we're after. It's the overall brand recognition that's about to, that's about to happen. Like you're about to be the Oprah of o- Oklahoma City. Everyone and their mother is going to know who, who the hell you are. That's mm-hmm. how powerful these videos are. Like mm-hmm. once you start showing up in the newsfeed multiple times and you're retargeting people who clicked on other ads before, they're like, damn, this, this chick must be the queen of real estate. She's doing it. She's showing up everywhere. Mm-hmm. So, so you have to create that. That's what we're creating is that, is that overall branding, which, which comes with consistency. So let's run this for a few days. Let's chat Monday, set up a call for Monday and let's review these, these numbers on Monday and, and determine if we leave it on or, um, or, or, or shut it off. Okay. Quick question. So, um, did we, um, give it a time window? I mean, I, I know we started it. No, no, no. End, yeah. No end date, no end date. Just, just we'll review it on the fourth day. Oh, we'll just review it on Monday and just see. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, the other question I think I was going to ask you, okay. So you were telling me that I need to have a video every Friday. So I was, but I yes. can still go ahead and do my video and just have it uploaded on my business page. Right. To be absolutely, in you absolutely have to do that. You want to do that. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Get in the okay. habit of just putting it up and just, and, and, and if we don't get to it on an ad, we'll, we'll, we'll get to it eventually. Like you just okay. want to line just, them up, just, just line just them up. creating content. Okay. Yes. The yes. next question is, um, I need to probably go into my calendar because I think we're doing a lot of things just for getting me familiarized with Kartra and the mm-hmm. back end of, you know, how, you know, what to do. Um, can you show me real fast how to get back to my calendar? Is it just here where I go into my calendars yes, and just make sure that sure. my my availability is what I is yeah, still set on, on the preference that I want? Yeah, click go into edit. Any okay. any questions on the ad or the? Um, I don't think so. Other than I thought I was going to be running another ad tomorrow, but I actually no. am on. I'm on schedule because you told me my day is every Friday. Yes, but I'm actually on track because perfect. We this goes today, live on Friday. Got me set up to go for Sunday. So now just no. I have no more questions. Awesome, awesome. We're good. So we'll review this one on Monday, and then and then we'll go from there. 
Okay. 